New at five, two recently licensed medical marijuana companies have plans to open up dispensaries in Decatur. Way 31's Matt Paskowitz joins us outside Decatur City Hall this evening. And Matt, you spoke with two city leaders today who have differing opinions on these companies coming to town. Hey, Dana Marie, City Council President Jacob Ladner, he says that he's still skeptical about these companies' true intent moving here to town. While Council Member Carlton McMasters, he says he believes these businesses will bring good to the city of Decatur. Those concerns haven't really changed um, in the past uh, couple of months, so I uh, still have those concerns, if not more. The Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission's decision Monday to grant more than a dozen licenses to companies is soon going to have an effect in Decatur. Two of those companies, Verano Holdings LLC and RJK Holdings, want to bring dispensaries to the River City. That news is not a welcome one for Decatur City Council President Jacob Ladner. The federal government says it's illegal, but now um, in an unconstitutional way, we're going to say that the state and local municipalities are going to allow it. In December of 2022, the Decatur City Council voted four to one on an ordinance to allow medical marijuana dispensaries in Decatur. The lone dissenting vote. Very few people who have chronic pain called me, very few. Ladner, who is not sold on the benefits of the drug. There was actually a very sweeping study that National Geographic did earlier this year um, that basically said for pain relief that there really was no um, effect. Councilman Carlton McMasters, who represents the district where one of those dispensaries would be, sent Way 31 News a statement in support of the ordinance saying, quote, as far as approving dispensaries, I opted to look at the medical research. Doctors say medical cannabis can help alleviate symptoms associated with autism spectrum disorder, cancer-related pain, or nausea. In a Facebook post, Ladner said as soon as the licenses were handed out, he began seeing signs posted all over Decatur with doctors promising to get people a prescription with a 99% guarantee. It just kind of pointed to what all my concerns were, um, that this is really all about money. The Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission did say today they're going to be pausing their licensing process for an undetermined amount of time. They were supposed to begin handing out those licenses officially on July the 10th, but today they said looking through their grading process, they found some inconsistencies and they want to make sure all those applicants that were not given a license actually have a fair chance. Reporting live in Decatur, I'm Matt Paskowitz, Wade 31 News.